Okay. Okay, my name is Liesl Steiner. I photographed Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, uh, Carmen Amaja, who was a Spanish singer and dancer. I photographed so many, the list is very long. I was born in 1927, which makes me 91 years old. But I tell everybody that I'm 92, because to make yourself younger is not really cool. And I was born in Vienna, Austria. And at the age of 11, I was exported to Argentina in South America. The capital is Buenos Aires. So I grew up, I studied art, I went to school, I went to university, I didn't like it, I conked out. So I'm an autodidact, which means I learned everything by myself. I researched, I read a lot, I spoke with important people, and that kind of education was good for me. Other kind of educations are good for others. In 1955, there was a revolution in Argentina, and there was a very nice general, and he went to Ushuaia, which is the southernmost part of South America. And he went fishing. And uh, I followed him. By then I was a photographer. I followed him in a Beechcraft aircraft, very small, with a plastic dome. And I sat in this dome and counted the sheep of the Patagonia. When I arrived at the guys fishing, I took some pictures and the, ma the news, the magazine, Time and Life, both, thought it was a wonderful idea that the general is fishing. And they published it in Life and in Time magazine. That's where I started my career as a journalist, a photojournalist. In 1959, I had an assignment to cover the Foreign Ministers' Conference in Santiago, Chile, South America. When I arrived, I looked like you, young, you know, quite pretty, and I convinced 21 foreign ministers around the table to do something for the children of the three Americas, South, Central, North Canada, United States Canada. I convinced them that it would be very important to do something for these dying children, these hungry children, these well-off children. So I, after being there, having my letter, I traveled to every country in the three Americas, photographed all these children running next to a train, pan, 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 they wanted bread to be thrown out the window. I photographed a child in Nicaragua, dead, and with money next to the dead child to bury it, all that. I was active at the UN, so all the dignitaries were there. I could go with my credential into the White House in five minutes, and there was a room called the Fish Room, and all the press sat on the floor, not like now, where they all sit in chairs, and, uh, like in a schoolroom.
I have to describe to you what happened one morning. I didn't have a table, so I used to go to a coffee house called Figaro, which doesn't exist anymore, Bleecker and McDougall. So I had a table there and I'm working at something or writing something because I also write poetry but not too much. So I get a telephone call from my um, answering service. At that point it was a real woman, not a machine. And she, she said, Liesel, get your ass to Times Square. Okay. She happened to have been the ex-wife of the man I was going to marry. And I met her at a party and she said, Liesel, we have so much in common, Gary. Jerry, I'm sorry, Jerry, not Gary. Okay, so I take a taxi, I arrive on Times Square. It is two o'clock sharp on the 22nd of November, two o'clock, 22nd, one more thing. And it, they had just assassinated Kennedy. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. So I am in front, I get, I was very agile. I get on top of my car and there are 22 people looking at me one of them is holding a newspaper. Kennedy shot, perhaps dead. If your brain is lying in the car on the back seat, you are dead. So, 20 seconds, 2 o'clock, 22 people at 2 o'clock. You know, centuries ago, the whole world was always run by women, matriarchats. They were the ones in Russia, everywhere there was a woman in command. And suddenly, in our recent history, 100 years, 200, it's all men and women got discriminated against and they're coming back but in many cases they're coming back the wrong way i find and uh, so this is a very big subject matter which is hard to just mm -hmm. take out little you know i'm proud of the person i am of what I do, I like to help people individually. And each time you do something like that, you feel proud of yourself. You have done something human. You are not only thinking of yourself. So, little things in life are very important. So I'm proud of myself. I can't go into details because there are very many things. Right now, I find the world is in a bad period. Uh, horrible things happen all over. Wars, armies who shouldn't be there. Greed is rampant, so we are in a very bad... They are good people all around, but there are also many bad people. I don't believe in messages, I don't believe in advice, mm -hmm. because you have to do your own experience. Mm -hmm. 